Welcome back to the second part. If you haven't watched the first part, do watch that. We discussed the modeling of the cupboard in the video, and we will continue with texturing and rendering further. Starting now, please make sure you have installed a free Blender Kit add-on from the Blender Marketplace. Let's drag another window from the bottom and switch to the Shader Editor. Now, if you have installed the Blender Kit add-on, you will see a tab here showing different objects, materials, and scenes that you can import directly into Blender. So first we have different models, then you have different materials, then you have different scenes that you can import in Blender directly while using the add-on. So what we want is a wood material for the cupboard. Search for food in the search tab. I think this looks good now. Now select all the objects and select the active element as the wood material and then press Ctrl L and click on materials that will link the materials to all the other parts of the viewport. Now, if we see this shader in the texture coordinate, you can see that it is plugged into UV and we have two UVs here. So if we now drag a panel from the right and switch to UV editor, you can see that mesh is UV unwrapped in this way. Now let's go into shader editor and increase the scale value in the text coordinate so that the material gets tiled on the mesh. So we can get multiples. Now let's make a new material for the legs of the cupboard and give it a black color. Make it a bit rough material, changing some parameters to get the correct look and now you can see that it's just it it's just a plain black color. So to make sure to have some variations in the color, we will add a noise texture. So all the commands that you use in the viewport are applicable in the shader editor as well. Now we will press shift A, add a noise texture and add a color ramp, which will then go to the base color of the principal BSDF. Next, we adjust these values to get a good look you can use the noise texture for various things like adding rust and dust on the material or you can also use it as a mask to combine two materials. I would just use the noise texture for a simple blend in this scenario and you can also control the coordinates of the noise texture. Just click on the noise texture and press the control T. So now you will be getting two nodes. That is a texture coordinate and the mapping node with which you can control the coordinates of the noise texture. Just plug this into UV and let's tweak these color ramps and make the color a little darker. So, because we just want a little variation, we don't need to change the color to some scale values and detail values. I'll switch to Cycle Render and see how it looks there. Changing the metallic and specular to get the correct look. I think this looks good. Let's align this texture using the texture coordinate. Let's assign the materials for the handle. You just click on the handle and go to the Share Director. Create a new material and just give it up some metallic shader with the gray color. So from here, you can just switch to HDMI mode or the real-time lightning that will get in the render. Let's add sky texture, which is a sky texture that is available in Blender. I don't like the look of this. I would just like to add an area light. Make sure the light power 500 and make the sky texture intensity zero. We're already getting a look now. Let's just remove this texture stretching. Now let's place multiple area lights are rotated and in the viewport so that we can get some highlights on the detailing of the handle and the keyhole. Oh, and I just remembered that I forgot to add material to the keyhole. We'll just do the right way. I'll just drag this up, click on new and add new material. Now we're getting some of the details as a render and to get more realistic look and the highlights of the product here. 
we'll just add a plane of the ground below the cupboard so that most of the light is reflected from it and then falls on the cupboard, which will then brighten up the dark area. Let's phase shift A and add a plane. Now let's go to shader editor, click on new material and add color black to this and now we will define the parameters of the plane. Now it's up to you if you want a reflective material so that the cupboard is also reflected onto the plane or you just want the material to cover the background and reflect some light on the cupboard. I think we're done with the texturing now and the lighting setup is also looking good. Now let's animate our cupboard for the video. You know that the door will open from the hinge so we must place the origin of the door at the end. So you just click on this mesh and bring the 3D cursor. Press shift and right click on 3D cursor.